spring is finally here, and with it comes an abundance of new life and new beginnings. Even though there's still a biting cold in the air, the sun shines hot when it does bless us with its presence. These change in seasons, these past few weeks, have been filled with shifts in my own life. But before I go into that, I wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. First of all, Welcome to my very first vlog. I've never actually done a vlog before, so I have to admit I was a little bit apprehensive about doing it. But I decided to face my fear because I do believe there's something really special about being able to document and preserve these moments in life and be able to share them with others. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm originally from Leicestershire in England and last year in February 2022, me and my husband Mark took a huge leap and decided to change our lives. We quit our jobs, sold all of our possessions in search of a more fulfilling life. It was a really big leap, but I remember at the time it didn't feel that scary because I think so tired of living a life that wasn't very fulfilling for us anymore. So we got ourselves a job in the south of England, um, working and living on an off-grid campsite. Me and Mark have always shared a dream of one day living off-grid and thought that this would be a really really good opportunity to experience this way of living. So we moved from a three bedroom townhouse to a shepherd's hut in the middle of a Sussex woodland. When we arrived on a cold February afternoon we were a little bit apprehensive about the conditions that we would be living in and we were a little bit scared. Our first night there I remember it was really really cold and damp. We didn't have any gas for our heating, for a cooker, and I couldn't even make a cup of tea or fill hot water bottles. It was freezing. We had no running water so we had to walk down to the campsite facilities which was about a quarter of a mile down the track from our shepherd's hut. And that night we were really questioning our decision and we were quite worried about the future at that point and where we were and what we were doing. But the next day we managed to get hold of some gas bottles and we got the heater on, we got the gas stove working so we could make a cup of tea, we could get some hot water bottles on the go and that made all of the difference. Within the next few months there we managed to get a lot more set up and make the shepherd's hut a lot more livable. Um, we had running water going to the shepherd's hut after a couple of months and then shortly after that we got a boiler set up on the side of the shepherd's hut which meant we could get hot water into the shepherd's hut. Then we built a outdoor shower which was hot as well which was amazing. Having those extra luxuries really made such a big difference um, and having to work there and live off-grid as well it just being able to take a hot shower and dry clothes, all those little things that you don't really think about when you live in a normal household really made you appreciate the little things.
So the campsite job that we had was a seasonal job and the contract ended for that at the end of October last year. So at the beginning of November we packed up all our things again and went to explore a bit of the UK. First we ended up going to Cornwall for a couple of months and spending Christmas there, which was really beautiful, um, and then going through Wales and up to the Lake District. After the Lake District we went back to the woods to help with the site setup. So we basically put all, all the bell tents, got all the facilities ready for them to open in April. We got to spend the springtime here in beautiful Somerset. We are currently staying in a shepherd's hut in the middle of the countryside. We have sheep and cows as neighbours and it's really beautiful and peaceful. So while we're here we've just been looking for seasonal work to do over the summer again and we got offered a job in Cornwall so we start that on Monday and we're really excited. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it.